My name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on You're Just Horny by Gale. It's a really easy little song to play, I'm going to teach you the whole thing. Just before I do though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video, the thumbs up, and leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know where in the world you're from, uh, and any songs you'd like me to do next. And if you love what I'm doing, and you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Now the intro sounds like this. So to play that, we've got an E chord, which is your first finger, G1, second finger, A2, and third finger, D2. And we're gonna play the E string on its own, and then the A string, and then the D and the G strings at the same time. You could use finger style for this like I'm doing, or you could use a plectrum. I like to play finger style for the beginning bit. So E string, A string, and then the D and the G strings. So you got. The next chord is a G sharp chord, which is your first finger on E4, second finger on G5, third finger A6, and your little finger on D6. And you're going to play E string, A string, and the D and G strings at the same time. So bar one, we've got. And then you're going to move all the fingers down one string. So your first finger goes to A4, second finger goes to B5, third finger D6, and your little finger on G6. And you're going to play the A string, then the D, and then the G and the B at the same time, and then back to the A string. So you've got. And then the last chord we need is an A chord. You can either do it with your finger, first finger flat across the D, G, and the B strings at the second fret, or you can use your first finger D2, second finger G2, and your third finger on B2. And you're going to play the A string, the D string, the G and the B at the same time, and then back to the A string. So you've got. So bar two, you've got. So let's put the whole line together slowly. You've got. And up to speed. So that's the intro, then it goes to the first verse. Now the first verse is doing exactly the same thing as we've just done. And it's gonna play it, um, so the first two bars are the same. And then it just plays the E and the G sharp. So you go. And then there's a bar of rest. So that's the whole of the first verse. So let's play the first verse, here we go. And then this next part, it kind of still feels like the verse, or, or um, I've written it as a bridge. Um, it's just going to do chugging chords along the same idea as that, so it goes this. So the first chord is an E power chord, which is just open E and A2. Play it four times. You could do a bit of palm muting, or you could play it just normal whichever way you prefer. The next chord we need is a G sharp power chord, which is your first finger E4, and your third finger A6. Four of those. Move them both down a string and we get C sharp. And then open A with D2 four times, and that's an A power chord. So bars seven and eight you get. And then bar nine, you go E to G sharp. And then bar 10, you've got C sharp. And then just one A chord. Okay, so the whole of that bridge goes. That 
takes us to the chorus. Now there's two lines of the chorus. It's all kind of based around the same thing, but there's just slight differences in it. Uh, so the first four bars of the chorus go like this. So for that E power chord, just hit it twice going. Then the rest, then G sharp, rest, C sharp, then A. So the first two bars. The next two bars are the same, but you're just gonna hit the A power chord four times. So let's play bars 13 and 14. Then bars 15 and 16, you're gonna play the E chord three times going. Same on the G sharp. So bar 15. Then bar 16, you're gonna hit the G sharp four times going. And then on the A chord, go up, down, down. Uh, with a little semi quaver rest. So bar 16 goes. So da, 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 da. So bars 15 and 16 go. Uh, then it goes on to the next line of the chorus. More of the same, just a slight difference. Uh, the first two bars you got. Uh, so I carried on. So E power chord twice, then G sharp twice. And then it pushes that C sharp a little bit early on the quaver, last quaver of the bar. So bar 17 you get. And then you're gonna hit it again in bar 18. Don't play anything in the brackets, they're just held on. And then on the A5, up, down, down. And then just hit the open G and B strings. Uh, so the bar 17 and 18 go. And then bars 19 and 20, uh, more of the same as we had before. E power chord twice, G sharp twice, C sharp twice, A power chord four times. So bars 19 and 20 go. And then bars 21 and 22 just go E twice, G sharp twice, and the C sharp twice, and then just rest in for the rest of the bar. So you get. Four. Um, so let's put the whole of the chorus together. Two lines. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Just goes to the verse and plays um, like the verse through the first two bars of the verse twice through, then plays the bridge and then the chorus, and then it's basically just doing those same chords um, for the bridge till the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, uh, and please leave me some comments. Let me know that you're watching this, let me know where in the world you're from. Uh, what you thought of the video, what songs I should do next as well. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this and loads of other songs, uh, then I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.